Right now, a federal judge considering new arguments over the constitutionality of Colorado's ban on same-sex marriages. Seven News reporter Lindsay Watts found that for one Boulder County clerk, this fight is deja vu. She was the first in the nation to issue marriage licenses to gay couples 40 years ago. There were the wishes that I was dead. There was the assumption that I was lesbian. Cleela Rorix was 31 then. And I turned 71 tomorrow. She says she was naive not to expect the hate that came with giving marriage licenses to gay couples in 1975. They said I was going to lower property values, that all these homosexuals are going to flock to Boulder. Perhaps even more surprising, that history is now repeating itself in Boulder as County Clerk Hillary Hall allows gays to marry against orders from the state attorney general. It was the AG at the time who stopped Rorix after she issued six licenses. 1975, Richard and I were legally married in Boulder, Colorado. Rorix has only kept in touch with one of those couples. It really meant everything. They were so proud of that marriage document. Two men whose lives are profiled in a documentary film out this summer. Australian Tony Sullivan is still fighting to become a U.S. citizen based on his marriage to his American partner. I had expected to be extremely emotional watching this film. Rorix was at the premiere in Los Angeles. By the time I got from my seat to the stage, I realized <clears throat> I'm just pissed off. I'm pissed off that this has taken so long. Forty years later, her anger and hope are still there. She says she wouldn't change a thing about the past. I never regret making that decision. I've never said I regret it or wish I had done otherwise. Lindsay Watts, 7 News.